everybody, it's me, Stephanie. I'm also known as Glitzy Gem. Thank you for joining me here today. For those who are new to my channel, please subscribe to the notification bell so you give my video a thumbs up. So we're doing a mass Monday this evening. Thank you for joining me here today. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really do appreciate that. So um, I usually always start off. So today's like skincare day for me. Um, took a shower. <laughs> now it's time for my skincare. And I put on my earrings today from, from April's ear fleek if you haven't seen that video I'll go ahead and put it up here so you can watch it um yeah where i where i am bag or unbox you know these earrings are pretty good i like these earrings are pretty nice i like them they they remind me of, like the denim style <clears throat> so i always start off with this generation skin um hydrating marine algae patch eye patches and i realized that it has kind of brightened a little bit underneath my eye my um under eye section where my bags where my eye bags are, <laughs> I do see a little brightening when I take these off. I just do, I do want to show you. I'm not sure if you're able to see from here or from this lighting, but you can see like some dark spots here and dark spots here. So above the dark spots, you can see where it's a little bit more brightened up, where it's brightened up right up here. I'm not sure if you can notice it. Um, most people can, most people can't notice, you know, my dark spots on my skin, which are from the, from the sun. So I just wanted to show you that, um, and I've been wearing Generation Skin for a while, you know. Um, this is not the first batch of Generation Skin eye patches that I've been wearing. And I realized that, you know, I've worn another, con another, another one before this one. I think it was with matcha green tea in it. There was one that had matcha green tea in it before, before I started using these. So I started. So I've been using Generation Skin for quite a while now. I don't know how many months or if it's been a year that I've been, you know, using these um, Generation Skin. But um, I think it's it's been like months, you know. But enough chitter chatter about the Generation Skin. I just want to let y'all know, you know, that they do brighten the skin. They do brighten underneath your eyes. Um, as far as the the bags under under, under the bags under the eye bags. <laughs> Um, they might do some kind of, I, I, I don't know if I can tell like if there's a difference. Maybe I can't tell because I'm always having bags under my eyes. Maybe they might have minimized a lot of the baggage, I guess I should call it. They might have minimized a lot of the baggage. It could, it, they, they could be, you know. Um, so maybe it could have helped in some way, you know. Even though I still have bags under my eyes, but it could be where they're less... They're less noticeable, well, less um, puffier than than what they would be, than what they normally or usually would be if I weren't to wear eye patches. So uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and use my Face Tory Moon Velvet mask. I'm a Face Tory ambassador, so I do have a coupon code down below that you can use. Uh, right now we're having a Mask Monday. It's called Masking. It's a Monday Masking. Uh, dollar masks and you can get on their site now it's good through May the 24th I'll go ahead and put the I'll go ahead and put the another another code another uh, coupon code that is good through May the 24th that you can go on face Tory and use that coupon and you can get uh, what you know you can get from the masks that they're offering for a dollar so yeah, a second, I'm gonna put this mask on. This is my first time, oops, sorry. My first time trying out the Moon Velvet mask. I never tried it, I don't know how it smells. I don't know how it's gonna do for my skin. So give me one second. All right, so I'm back. So this is the mask that I have on. This is the Moon Velvet mask. It does feel velvety smooth, but it it's really like a really creamy consistency, almost like shaving cream kind of, or cream kind of. Uh, let me show you the inside of the packet to show you what I'm talking about. I might just put this on after the video. I do this video, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of this milky or white substance essence onto my skin after this mask. You know, seeps through my, you know, seeps through my pores and skin. So I like it. It has a very lightly, lightly fragrance to no fragrance, and it's a very nicely, it's a really a very nice scent. Um, um, the scent is not floral, it's not perfume, it's, it's more like, um, 
smells like a cream more. It smells more like a, an, a, a just a, a natural cream that you would wear for for your skin whenever you do your skincare. That's the kind of smell it has. Uh, the scent, I shouldn't say smell, but the scent or fragrance it has. You know, it has a fragrance of more of like a skin cream. It's not floral. It's not musk. It's not sweet or anything like that. It's just natural. It smells natural. It has a natural scent. So I do recommend this mask for those who are uh, sensitive to scents because it, it really, like I said, it just smells like it's just natural. It doesn't even smell like it's chemical, like it has like a chemical fragrance sweet or anything like that either. And um, it feels great. It feels wonderful on my skin. So yeah, I'm glad that I've that I tried it. Yeah, I'm glad. So yeah, I'll be buying more of these. <laughs> uh, my first time trying them, and and you know, love the way it feels on my skin right now. So we're gonna go ahead and do some trash talk. All right. So let's go ahead and pull out the stuff. This is from April's uh, trash. You know, stuff that I've used from. You know stuff that I used in April's videos so we're in May so I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and just talk to you about trash that I had used um, and give my reviews over that All right so the first one I'll be bringing up which is my shampoo and this is one that y'all might have seen on some of my trash trash talk videos or um, trash bin videos um, is the anti dandruff shampoo for dryness and itchy skin itch relief sorry and it does work um i noticed that the one that that already has a conditioner in it the two in one that one actually works better for my for my hair i'm not sure if it's because it's you know because it's a multi-purpose or it, it's like um it has both the shampoo and the conditioner yeah i do recommend this for anybody who has issues or problems with dandruff and itchy scalp and my my scalp is itchy because I'm starting to, my my gray hairs are starting to, are starting to grow in, yeah my white hairs my my gray my grays are starting to starting to grow out so my scalp is starting to get more itchier than than usual than it used to so yes I'm aging I'm getting older yes <laughs> all right and then the next thing here I have is the SOS mask from Face Tori that I used um how did I feel about this I think it was it was good. It was like, just like your typical normal mask. Um, it, it, you know, it left you dewy. Um, I think it was a little tacky as well. I think it did leave me like a little tacky feeling to it. The Soothe Me Tea Tree one. I didn't find this one to be as appealing as the SOS one. I think the SOS one, you know... You know, did give me dewy skin, and I think it did give me it did give me like a little tacky feeling after putting it on. This one, oh yes, I do remember about this one. This one did leave me a really tacky feeling because it had a lot of essence on the on the um, what was remaining of the mask. It had a lot of essence, and then it made my skin look really tacky and look it made my skin look really oily. So I really didn't like how this came out. You know, the results of this. How it came out and it doesn't say to wash your face it just says to keep the essence on your skin and just spread it around your face but um other than that i wasn't very very impressed with this one you know i don't know maybe i might i might have that day i might have had like a bad skin day i don't know sometimes you know some masks you know i might come back and wear another mask like this and might have a different different uh opinion about it but this my this uh this was my first time using this one the soothe me tea tree mask was my first time using it it came with two um it was a two two part mask it had the ampule then it also had the mask so i think that's why i had so much tackiness to my skin i think my skin i had was already hydrated enough to where this you know kind of made it even more tackier so um you know to make it hydrated and not look so dry so i do recommend that for people who have dry skin you know who have trouble keeping their skin moisturized or hydrated i do recommend that and it also soothes the skin as well like if you have any kind of like um you know uh i want i don't want to say like burns i mean yeah, burns like sunburns or if you have any kind of irritation on your skin it does soothe your skin and it also has um it's like it's a skin and it, it's also a clearing mask it's supposed to clear up your skin of like pimples you know when you get breakouts or acne it should, it should help you with clearing some of that up as well like it's supposed to give you those benefits 
So, um, but um, maybe that's the reason why I'm saying, you know, because my skin was already hydrated as it was, and then putting this on it just kind of made it look more tackier. Made it feel more tackier and look more look more oily. <laughs> so I also tried these uh, this um, this sample. Uh, this was given to me in one of my Walmart beauty boxes for um, I think I can't remember what month for what um, season it was, but it had to be it had to have been like a more recent season. Maybe it was um, from not not uh spring season but the season before spring i think fall season yeah the fall season or no winter season i think i got this from the winter season and it's a suave up the volume shampoo with amino acid complex and then it's sulfate free and then we have the conditioner you know um wasn't impressed with it at all N not at all uh, i felt like i needed to have a secondary conditioner to condition my hair uh, the volume, as far as the volume goes, yeah, it, it did volumize my hair. So it did give me volume. I do gotta say that. I, you know, when it, my my hair would dry, I can I can I can feel the volume in my hair. But the sh the shampoo wouldn't lather up. wasn't lathering wasn't giving me the lather that I want. I'm not gonna say it wouldn't lather up. It lathered a little bit, but uh, not enough for, for me to say, oh, this is you know. This is all I need to, you know, for to have a really good lather. It, it, it wasn't enough for me to say that, you know, even if it is a little bit, because my hair is long. But even if it was, even if I had shorter hair, it still didn't lather enough for me, you know. Uh, the conditioner I think was a lot better than the shampoo. It did do a lot better than the shampoo. Um, but yeah, that's what I have to say about that. The shampoo and conditioner on the suave. Uh, on those two then my little doggy mask that was given to me by my friend um rebecca venegas diva she has a channel she's a youtube creator as well she gave me this mask this mask is uh from mexico she went to she had a trip to mexico and she brought back some masks and she sent me this and really you know really liked it i did like the way this this left my skin it did illuminate my skin this is illuminating mask it did illuminate my skin it did give me it did give me that dewy look and it wasn't tacky at all and it just felt it just made my skin feel and look good next thing i have here is the juice mask hydrating wheat and celery um i think this also you can use it as a honey pot squeeze and that's something that you would have to do where you um you get what does it say you uh it's a long, long instructions on how to do a honey pot squeeze. But I went ahead and I used the mask, you know, without doing the honey pot squeeze. And it was good. I liked it. I liked it. I didn't, I didn't get any, um, um, I don't know if I had any, like, like, I don't think I was like in awe. I don't think I, I was in awe or I didn't think it didn't, I don't, I don't think it did anything special for my skin. You know, other than that, it just did a good job. Other than that, you know, I don't think there was anything that was very too impressive. But at least it did its job and, and I was happy with it. And yeah, so it was good. Yeah, I was happy with it. The next one that I was very happy with, and I really did get a compliment about this mask, which is the Boba mask. Uh, this one I got from the Dollar Tree. It has hyaluronic acid uh, bubble mask, bubble face mask. And I wore this in my autism collab video. If you haven't seen that, I'll go ahead and put the video up here. Uh, the giveaway for that is over with already. I already picked the winner for my giveaway on that video. But if you still want to watch the video, you can. It's right here. And um, you're going to see how it foams up on my skin. And you can see, you know, for yourself if you really liked it or not. <laughs> if you really think that's something you like. I did. I, I feel like if I see this again in the at the store at the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna buy me some more. Buy me more than one. I only bought one that this time because I wanted to try it out and see how it was because I never wore a bubble mask before. So, um, so yeah. But next time I go back to the Dollar Tree and I see more of those masks, and this is by the brand. It's a Korean. It's Korean Beauty, and it's by the brand Bio Miracle. So. If I see that again, <clears throat> Bio Miracle Hyaluronic Bubble Face Mask Treatment, I will really get it. I'll, I will get that. <laughs> I will get it again. 
So this is the other piece to the Face Tori Soothe Me Tea Tree mask. The one that I said that left my skin really, really tacky. So if you have really dry, dry, really dry skin around areas on your face, oh my goodness. This would be a perfect mask for you because it does leave your, your skin looking hydrated. It looks, it looks like, well, to me it looked really oily, like it left my skin looking really oily and it was tacky, but at the same time, like, I mean, it's hydrating. So if you do use this mask, like I said, you have really, it's really good for people who have very, very dry skin. Now the last thing in my box, well, I call it a box, well, I have it in a box, but the last thing as a review, uh, the Mark Anthony True Professional Strengthening Grow Long um, anti-breakage mask oh my goodness this is one of the masks I hardly wear hair masks and I realized that I need hair masks in my life after trying this mask out the Mark Anthony one is really good I think this one is this one I really do think it would be worth for me buying um, from you know from Walmart or going to Walmart and buying it because this is where I got in one of my Walmart beauty boxes as a sample this is a little like a deluxe sample and it did really good for my for my hair as a hair mask because it left my my hair looking healthy. It left it looking shining, and then my scalp wouldn't itch. Go figure. I don't know why. I just used heat on it, and I know I should have used some kind of thermal protectant, you know, in my hair when I straightened it out. And I didn't. So now my hair now my hair looks dull, and and um my hair looks dull now because I didn't put any any kind of like um. He protect it and I don't I don't have a hair mask now right now you know to put to wear I don't have a hair mask so I need to find me a hair mask quick because you know I straighten out my hair pretty much almost all the time every day you know when I need to um, I always straighten it out so I don't ever and then I hardly curl my hair but you know I'm always putting heat to my hair and it's I'm starting to see like the dullness and the damage you know from the thermal heat so I should have used a heat protector I had one I just didn't I was just too I was too, just too lazy to use one because I hardly ever use um, heat protectors heat protectants you know um, when I straighten out my hair because my hair still comes out pretty pretty healthy and natural and natural pretty healthy and shiny you know but this time around since I didn't have a hair mask you know and the shampoo and conditioner that I put on, I mean, I, they, I mean, I love the way the shampoo and conditioner worked, the one that I'm using now, that I'm testing out now, and, you know, trying to get a review on it, you know. So, um, I did want to talk to you about Timu. Um, supposedly, I was supposed to be one of their, I was on their Timu influencer uh, program, and when they sent they, when they sent me the email for me to pick out the stuff for me to for them to send me, you know, to do PR for, or to show them on my, on my channel, they just, they ghosted me, like, um, first they told me that I needed to go, uh, first they, so I gave them everything, everything they asked for in the email, I gave, I gave them everything they asked for in the email, and I got a response saying that if I wanted to be part of the influencing program that I need to go and put in the application for it, I'm like, I already did put in the application and I already got the email where it states that I am, you know, part of the influencing team, you know, so why am I getting another email letting me know or telling me that if I want to be part of the influencing team for Timu, that I need to fill out the application again. So that was, you know, red flag, you know, I guess I should say it's a red flag, you know, when they sent me that, that, um, that email after I had put in my order, you know. And I had emailed them and said, hey, I put in my order, um, just waiting for y'all to approve it and send me the, send me the item so I can, so I can show it on my channel. Um, that's whenever I got the email telling me that if I wanted to be part of the influencing program, I was like, why are they sending me this? And I'm already part of the influencing program. And then, so that was, the, that was the first, that was, that was the, that was the, you know, the result. So that was the first red flag. Then the second red flag was whenever I told them that I was already part of the influencing program. Um, you know, and I put in my, they said, okay, we'll put in your order. And I put in my order. Yeah, I mean, I sent it through them. I sent it through. I sent my order through. I didn't, I didn't pay anything, you know, out of pocket or anything. I just 
gave them snapshot, you know, screenshots like they asked, you know, they asked, you know, to see the screenshot, screenshot of, you know, of where it's supposed to be delivered and of the items that you're, that you're buying or that you're, uh, that you're choosing to show on your channel. So I sent them the screenshots and then they, and then I wait and I wait, you know, I still didn't get a response back, you know, to get it approved. So I said, Hey, can you please give me an update? Let me know if my, uh, Timu PR got, got approved. So they sent me another message back saying that it takes up to three to five business days for your order to be delivered or your order. Yeah. For your order to be shipped out. Okay. The shipping part. Okay. I understand it takes three to five business days, but what about, is it approved? You know, I didn't even get an answer if it was approved. It was just telling me that it takes three to five business days. Kind of like if like when you place an order and they kind of send you an email, like a generated email telling you that it takes three to five business days before you get your order. But it didn't, it didn't even answer my question as far as like, what are the updates on, on this order? So when I sent another email out asking for the updates again, you know, <laughs> when I didn't get the right answer the first time, um, they didn't respond back anymore. Like I didn't get no more response from Timu. So at this point, I don't even know if I'm even like, uh, I'm supposed to be an influencer for Timu you know, because they approved my, my program, you know, they, they approved my influencing program. But, uh, so I guess I'm not no more, I guess I'm not on their team, pro team programming influencing team, which is kind of, you know, like, okay, you could have let me know, Hey, you know, we denied you or we decided that we changed our mind. No, no emails letting me know we changed our mind. Uh, nothing. Just, um, it's just like I said, they ghosted me. They're like, it's like it's up in the air. It's it's somewhere in the electronical realm of uh, technology somewhere. <laughs> you know, it's up in the air somewhere wirelessly. So that's all I have to tell you. To, that's all I have to tell you and show you today for today's Mass Monday. I hope everybody, everybody has a wonderful and lovely evening i hope y'all have the rest of the week you know hope you have a good rest of the week rest up if y'all haven't if you had a long weekend like i did i had a four day <laughs> had a four day weekend which i'm like you know which which was much needed you know much needed you know uh don't want to get into that i don't want to get into it but um you know just letting you know it was much needed and I probably still need more, more time, but I, I don't have the means for that because, you know, I need, I need to go back to work. I don't, you know, uh, there's so many vacation days out of the year that they can give you. Right. So, so I, I'm, so hopefully everybody, you know, has a great, wonderful week, you know, hopefully, um, just, you know, be grateful for what you have, be grateful for your family, be grateful for um for all the blessings that you receive in your life you know and always have faith and always be positive and you know always pray and always you know um you know pray for your loved ones you know pray for yourself and you know just um always cherish i guess that's that's my point you know i was trying to say it's like always cherish you know the little things in life and the bigger things, the big things in life that are like, you know, you know, you have to overcome certain obstacles in your life, you know, trials and tribulations that come through your life that you have to kind of overcome these problems and issues. So just remember that there's already, there's always somebody higher up above you. That's always going to be watching over. You just got to have faith and, you know, and, uh, you always have to have faith and leave all the burdens, you know, to the person who you believe in, who you have faith in, leave your burdens up to them and the rest will come. The rest will be, uh, fulfilled after that. So thank you so much for joining me here today. Like I said, and I'll see you in my next video. All right. Um, take care. Love you all. Bye. Mm. Hey there, awkward moment. Uh, just whenever you have a thought and you're, and you're about to close out your presentation or in my case, you know, my conclusion of my video, I forgot to show you the results of this math. 
Okay, you guys, I'm back. I took off the mask, but I want to show y'all something. I was squeezing the mask. Look at this. Look at this. It's cream. Just like I said, it's like a cream substance. And it's almost like a cream, like a hydrating cream. Moisturizing cream mask. So it is supposed to look like a cream. <laughs> uh I did not catch that. You know, why do I have to, like, I've, not why. It's like, I always have to find out what kind of masks these are or describe them in a way that they're, they're supposed to without even reading the package and realizing, oh, it is supposed to be like a cream. And even if I read that, I still probably wouldn't have understood what it meant when it said moisturizing cream mask. To me, I just thought it was just going to be like a regular, you know, regular mask, regular hydrating mask, you know, moisturizing mask. But it's, a, it's like an actual moisturizer for your skin. I think I'm going to give some of these out to you guys if I go on the site and get, um, you know, go on Face Tori and try to see if I can get the discount or I can get the dollar the dollar masks. I'm going to get some of these and I'll put these in, in, uh, in giveaways. I'm going to put them in giveaways because it's a moisturizer. So instead of giving y'all like a moisturizer, I can give y'all a moisturizing mask. I can use that as a moisturizer, which is perfect because that was the next step that I needed to take. Uh, from for my skin routine, I washed my skin, I toned it. Then you had to wear a serum, and after the serum, then you put the more then you put the moisturizer. Like it feels like it's drying and seeping into my skin. It almost feels more like a cream. Yeah, so way better than the the soothing tea tree one or the the skin skin clearing one. This one here, it, it's better than this one as well. Like so. Yeah, so this is the result. Thank you all for joining me here today again, and I'll see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.